Can hut. Hey guys, General Spatten here. I'm gonna give you an update on the crawl. I've got the skin done. I wasn't gonna show this, but um, once I get the wings on, you won't be able to see the back really well. And I'm I'm really pleased and proud with how the uh, skin has turned out. So I figured I'd show you now. Now this is a destroyer model. Uh, I don't know uh, the stats or anything, but basically what I do know is it's like a giant fire creature or beast and so you know, this is not my model this is for a client so trying to figure out how to represent that and the the color with the uh, we came up with the red skin and I thought about painting it black and do a magma effect all sorts of try to th things to make this look right but if you know if I kind of paint it like a like he's on fire all over then he'd be mostly orange and it just didn't seem to look right so we settled upon this red skin and I think it's turned out well because and in the once I was emailing him uh, the idea that came to uh, to me of how to do it and make it look like he's a he's um, he's hot inside he's a, a fire beast and so here it is I'll show you the Head first, and I'm just going to kind of give you an overall view, and then we'll go in closer. But uh, there's what I came up with. He's glowing hot from the inside, so I did kind of a fire effect or a glow effect on his rib cage, and then also you see there on his neck. You know, basically the deep spots of his torso. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think I, I hit on the way to do it to make it uh, represent that that he's a fire beast and kind of glowing hot. <clears throat> and then around on the back there's the back and I'm going to tilt it all different ways so you can see that those are painted shadows and highlights. It's not a done by just the uh, lights reflecting or not reflecting depending on how they're turned so I'm just going to kind of give you a whole bunch of angles so you can see down to the calves he's got a lot of veins in him that I represented and he's got some tears in his skin these little orange uh, slashes here you know, I'm more heat's exposed that way, but uh, really proud of that back. How it turned out. And also got the uh, the green turned out really well on the uh, banding and on the axe over here. Got it all highlighted up. Very subtle. Uh, uh, black highlight might might highlight that up just a little bit more, but then you know the dark coming over to the light part of the axe. They both tie in together. I'm really pleased with the green. Then the um, yellow for the whatever this thing is tabard, just loincloth, whatever you want to call it. Got it darkened up. You can really see what I did back here. Uh, darkens up and it comes down to light. So there it is. Let's see if we can get some close-up shots. All right, there we go. We've got the mouth glow effect inside. Uh, he wanted one of those. He's got uh, yellow eyes. You can see the slits there in the skin hairs where it's orange, you know, let more heat out. And then the other eye. You can also see how I've got the horns faded up to a tan. But you can really see the skin through here on the neck. How it's glowing. And his breast. On his, between his pectoral muscles. Let me see, I'm going to get down here a little closer to the greens. 
the brown's really not picking up. I put a, some sepia and brown colors in it, and I'm really pleased with how those turned out. And you can see there, around on this side. So there he is. Just wanted to uh, show the, the skin. I don't know how much you'll be able to, especially on the back, how much you'll be able to see. But there it is. Really pleased with it. So just keep on going. And there's his horns. You see how they're faded up. But there's the bad boy right there. Well, this is General Splatton, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.